Hi, I wanted to share about phlebotomies, giving tips or anything, a little bit of experience and um, things that have been helpful for me, hopefully for others, and will help anyone else along the journey. Um, I know people with polycythemia vera usually will need to get um, a therapeutic phlebotomy and also people with hemochromatosis. Um, it's beneficial for you, so let's try and make it the best way we can. Um, first thing is to hydrate, um, not just the day of or even the day before, but hydrate as much as possible always, um, and especially just a few days before, keep being extra hydrated. That's a big thing. Um, I like to drink Pedialyte. I love it. Um, I don't know why, it just makes me feel so much better. I do drink a lot of water, a lot of water, and uh, Pedialyte seems to really help. It was one of the tips from one of the nurses. I'm giving this information because I have been a very hard stick. I have terrible veins. Um, I now have a portacath, and so um, that's helped quite a bit. But nonetheless, I've had to go through all the roughness of getting, you know, so many stabs or this or that, and it not working. So I thought, you know, let me help anyone else who can figure this out. So anyhow, the nurse told me, make sure you hydrate, you know, many days in advance and drink Pedialyte. Apparently that has been a great thing for many people and I love it. It makes me feel so much better. Um, there are um, off brands of Pedialyte. You can get them Walmart or Target or I get some from Amazon and they're all great too. Try and get the ones without any added sugars. I, there's just a few out there, but I try and go with a little healthier version. Um, you have to cut out the caffeine, I think 12 hours in advance. And um, that's good because it, you know, it's going to mess with your veins. I'm just making it easier. It doesn't mean you have to do these things, but these can help you. Um, so no coffee or caffeinated tea or chocolate, things like that. Um, eat well. Make sure that when you go in there, um, you're not starving or, you know, feeling terrible because you are going to get blood drawn and you want to feel good and comfortable. Also, you know, you don't want your sugars to go out of whack or anything like that. Um, at my, where I go and get my phlebotomies, they always have snacks for me and I love it. They actually know I have a standing order. I get these crackers and, you know, these little fruit juices and they are loaded in sugar and normally I would never have any of them. But when I go get my phlebotomy, I need some sort of a treat to make me feel better and it gives me something to look forward to. So I do that. Love it. Um, eat well. Um, also heating pads. I know many times they couldn't get anything from my veins. So they had these kind where you can break them and you put them on and they keep them on there for a while and they'd have the heating pads. They are great in the office. You can ask for them there or they can determine if you need it or if you have some at home, you could probably do that before you go. Also exercise your arms. Do, you know, something like this. I know I had to do this for quite a while to get the blood, you know, flowing into my port. Um, even my port, my port clogs up sometimes and it's, it's not so easy. So um, just doing what you can, you know, get that going and maybe, you know, like you'll have a better flow. Um, also, uh, if you're allowed to have some aspirin, if you can have extra aspirin, that would be great. I don't know. I don't know what your doctor would say. So that was, that one's very personal and you need to talk to your doctor first. Do not take my advice on taking the aspirin other than it's helped me, but talk to your doctor first, see what they say. That's as far as I'll go on that one. Um, I know that when I go in there after I've been drinking a ton of water, you know, getting all these things, I know I'm going to be sitting for a while. They may or may not get a draw on the first try. They may not get it all correct. It's going to take a while. Use the bathroom. That's all I have to say. Use the bathroom before you have to sit there forever, being super hydrated and getting poked a bunch. And once it's actually accessed, it will take some time. So um, that's something to say. And also after the fact, um, they're going to, uh, not always, but a lot of times, for me at least, they do a saline solution that they put right back into you. And that always, you know, that will fill you up. So make sure you take care of yourself. You don't want to be uncomfortable. Um, I have a port. I used to get uh, phlebotomies through my arms. They were very difficult. And I mean, it was 
like punishment. They would come in and they had to cut above my bicep here because they were getting nothing or it would clot midway through. Um, we'd get partial amounts. They'd squeeze out my arms, I, you know, multiple stabs, the whole nine. And it got really bad. I went to, I think, four different places. Um, then I went to an apheresis place where they are, you know, that's what they do. They scanned my veins and they said all of them were bad and I had to get the port. Even they were like, we give up. We do this all day, every day, and we're not going to do them on yours. So that was a big deal. Um, so I do have a port cath With that, um, it's a little different than the other phlebotomies. Um, I always ask for the numbing spray before they do the pokes. Um, it helps just ask for it you know they have to get everything out anyhow and say hey can you do the numbing spray they'll spray it that gives it time to settle in and it helps because it's not always a one poke on a port this last time it was five pokes it was painful and it really painful because they're slamming that into your chest um but the good thing is i did have the numbing spray so it does take away a lot of that um so while you're in the chair you're gonna be kind of stuck there do something entertaining. Uh, usually they'll have TVs, but sometimes you have to share it with someone else. So hopefully it's a good channel. If not, you know, I sometimes take the time to just meditate. I chat with the nurses. Um, you know, you can't really be on your phone or um, doing much. You can kind of read until then, but they're going to be accessing you somehow. So it's not really a convenient thing. So maybe this is your time to think things through or watch TV. Um, let me think. Um, relax. Just breathe and relax while they do it. Anything tense is going to make it worse and more difficult for them to get anything. Um, after all of that, just relax. You know, this is saving your life and it's going to help you in the long run and be lucky, you know, that it's nothing else. So um, that is my advice for getting the actual phlebotomy right after that. Depending on how you feel after these, I actually get very faint. I get very ill. Um, so they usually give me um, a saline drip after that. And I feel better. And then I'm hydrated. It's kind of a lazy way to get hydration for the day also. Not the full day, but part of it. And um, and um, makes me not feel so guilty for eating all that sugar. <laughs> um, after that. Uh, you'll be going home. My husband always takes me. He's amazing. Just, he's a godsend, just a wonderful support, just a great person. And so he drives me home. Sometimes we get food on the way home and sometimes I just go in and I sleep. So some of the things after the fact, you get nauseous, um, tired and, you know, headaches. I sometimes get really cranky and I don't mean to, I just feel terrible and I'm trying to get it back together, but I don't feel 100%. So I have to be aware of that. That's that's something to do. I mean, you have all these people taking care of you and sending you love and taking care of that. The least you can do is kind of recognize, hey, I'm being kind of cranky. Let me try and work with them. So that's one of those things. Um, bruising. Sometimes you'll have a ton of bruising. I mean, I've been covered in bruises. And if they can switch arms, great. Um, if not, if you're just covered in bruises and you have to deal with it, um, I think Arnica will help with that. That's something you can put on after. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I just think getting some sleep, relaxing, not planning anything for the rest of the night and possibly the next day, depending on how you react. But that has worked for me. Um, I just wanted to give some tips. I know a lot of people have asked for quite, you know, like ask these questions on what can I do for a phlebotomy? And it's it's scary and you know there's good and bad with it and sometimes it's a lot of sticks sometimes it's easy and smooth and perfect and wonderful and so that's the best thing you you know you could have is a wonderful easy one and i just think you should do the best you can to make it good for you um a side note i like to make it fun for me i try and find the best out of the situations you know, sometimes it's frustrating, it's tiring, it's all of these things, but you have to find a glimmer of comedy or something fun in it. So I wear vampire socks when I go, and that makes me happy. It's just one of those things. It's my tradition. Um, a side note on that, I've had one pair of vampire socks. I keep having to wash them all the time if I have to go multiple times in just like, you know, a couple days I've had that. 
Um, the great thing is, is I was telling my sisters, you know, it's hard to find vampire socks. So my sister, being as sweet as she is, she ordered me some vampire socks on the computer. See, right there. And what happened is we were opening the package together. She hadn't seen them before, but she was so excited to give them to me. So she gives them to me and I pull them out. And the first thing it says is, Dad. <laughs> she was freaking out, just so like appalled, could not believe it, apologetic, everything. I don't think I've laughed so hard in my life. I mean, the irony, the terribleness of, you know, the utter fear, the elephant in the room, all these things you don't want to deal with and you would never want to say this to anyone. And then it's on the socks. And I crack up every time I see them because it is hilarious and her love and support is just wonderful. I have a lot of beautiful friends and family supporting me. My sisters, my mom, my dad, my friends, everyone, my husband especially, he's amazing. My in-laws, all of them, and of course my son. So anyway, that's my gratitude for everything. Phlebotomies, if you have any questions, write them. I'll do what I can to help you. I really hope it goes well for you and for everyone else. In the meantime, here's some cute socks. Not so cute, but cute. So take care.